Good morning or afternoon, depending on where you are at. I am Kella Price with Healthy Fit, and this is Healthy Fit Seniors, fitness for all fitness levels and abilities. Today, we will be using a set of weights. If you don't have weights, feel free to use what you have available. You can use cans, bottles, or no weight at all. This is your workout and it's your choice. We'll be using a chair for balanced postures. So have that handy, a good sturdy chair. Make sure it doesn't move or shift when we're doing the exercise. Safety first. If you choose to get down on the floor today for any part of the workout, you may wanna have a mat if you have a hard surface like my hardwood floors here. If you have a fitness watch, you can go ahead and set that now for our exercise. Grab your water and let's get started. I have a great workout for you today. Our first movement is high knees, driving the knee up towards the elbow or towards the belly button. If you want a little bit more, you can jog it or go a little faster. Pump those arms. Warm it up. So we want to aim towards that belly button, 90 degree angle on that leg. Let's try some balance. Hold, hold, hold. Use your core to keep you nice and tall. Taking that same movement, we're going to do a side step, high knee to the side, and back. Side to side like you're stepping in and out of your bathtub at home or in and out of that hot tub on vacation. Tap. Nice and high. If you're unstable or unsturdy on your balance, you can do this right behind your chair. Sumo squat. Using the chair, reach down with one hand like you're gonna reach down for that cat or dog bowl. Then reach up, put it away in the shelf. Option to come up onto your toes. No chair. Down and up. Squeeze those calves. Keep your chest nice and tall. Reach down for that food bowl. Put it away. Reach. Next movement. Creeper lunge. Side, side, side. Balance. Push off to your ankle quad or calf, okay? Side, two, three, push off. You can balance here. Use the chair for balance if you need it. Three, push, let's switch sides. Other side. Cool, starting on this side. One, two, three, push. Remember your options, ankle, calf, or quad but not on the knee, you wanna protect the knee. Pushing back into the glute. Push off up, reach, nice and tall. Push, last one. Reach, tap, nicely done. Forward lunges, we want our feet parallel. Stepping forward, those feet should still be parallel. Knee coming straight down. Use your chair for balance if you need it. And switch. Check your alignment. How are we doing? If you don't need that chair, let go. Use your core to keep you nice and tall. Chest upright. Nice job. You should feel warm. Your heart rate should be getting up there. Get a sip of water. Today is our three-peat, three sets of each move. 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Starting with a bicep curl. Grab those weights. So I'm gonna encourage you to use weights that are at least five pounds. Five pounds because this is functional fitness and you need to be able to carry things that are five pounds 
in your life. All right, so grab those weights. If you're not at five pounds, you can work up to that. And our resident dog has joined our workout today. No workout for you, Lucy. You get your walk later. You got those weights? Let's do this. Here we go. So we wanna challenge ourselves on this workout, keeping our heart rate up. Squat to bicep curl. Sitting our back in our heels, squat down, bicep curl. Let's change the tempo here. One up, three counts down. Now if you would like to use your chair as a target point, right here, sit your bottom on the chair, come on up, curl, down, two, three. You got this. Feet should be parallel. Pushing back. Up, down, two, three. That tempo makes the curl a little bit more challenging. Up, down, two, three. Rest. Shake it out. We want to keep our chest nice and tall. When we sit back in the squat, try not to lean forward. If you have a mirror in front of you, check out your form in your mirror. Here we go, get ready. Feet are parallel, squat it down. Bicep curl, down, two, three. Down, two, three, nice and slow. Look at your knees, we wanna make sure our knees don't cave in. Pushing your knees slightly out as you do your squat towards your arms. How are you feeling? I'm getting nice and warm. This is functional fitness. This is gonna help you with your everyday activities. We wanna be stronger to be able to live independently, to be able to go out and do the things that we love, rest. And this is gonna help you do it. When your grandchildren come to visit, you wanna be able to play with them and do activities. Doing regular exercise will help you build your endurance to be able to do that. Here we go, last set. Squat, down, two, three. Down, two, three. Remember that chair is a great target for that booty, so you can get your bottom down. This is functional fitness, being able to get in and out of your chair without pushing off with your arms. How many times do you have to get up every day to answer the door, to use the restroom, to get some water, to let our animals in and out from outside? Last one. Nicely done, how are we doing? I have some sweat going here. Set down your weights for the next exercise. Warrior three, if you're using the chair for balance, square your hips to the front, tip, hold, two, three, come on up. Stay on that same leg, hold, two, three, tap. If you don't need the chair for balance, square your hips, reach forward, and tap. You don't have to go all the way down. You can go just a little bit, Use the chair if you need it for balance. You can have your arms in front. You can have your arms to the back. If you have a shoulder pinching, this is a better movement here. All right? Point that toe, extend that leg as much as you can. Tap. Last one. Rest. We're gonna switch legs. So when you extend, you can even use the seat back for this. Extend. Point that toe, the goal is right here. Nice long spine when you do this. I want you to look forward and slightly down to have a nice long spine from your tailbone all the way up. See, as I'm looking in the camera, my head is not in alignment. Tap. Reach, remember your options. You don't have to go as low 
We want you to build up your balance. It's gonna build up strength in your ankles with your tendons and muscles that help us balance. To be able to come on one foot is really important for catching ourselves and preventing falls. Because if we lose our balance or we trip on something, we have to be able to catch ourselves with that one foot rest. Now this time we're gonna alternate each side. Square your hips, find your balance in your standing foot, spread your foot in that toe and feel your balance distributed between your heel, your balls of your feet and each one of your toes. And tap up. Let's do that again, other side. Hold, two, three, tap, switch. Hold, two, three, switch. Again, nice long line. And bring it up. Control it as you bring it up. Nice and controlled. Use those muscles. Take your time. That's why we have that hold. Two, three. Again, you have the option to bring your hands back as well. This is your workout. You choose your option. Rest. We've got a new move. This one is agility football drill. When was the last time you played football? We're gonna go in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. So that's the movement. Again, if you need the chair for balance, you have it right here. Otherwise, come out on the floor. Can you speed it up? <sighs> Breathe through, out, out, in, in. My cat is forever trying to trip me up. When I get up in the middle of the night or in the morning when I come out of my room, agility drills are great for that. Breathe through it. Make sure you're not gonna trip on anything while we do this. Lift your feet up high enough. Out, out, in, in, rest. Get a sip of water if you need it. Got to have that water close by. As we age, our brain doesn't send the message as well that we are thirsty. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. You got this. Breathe through. You can slow it down. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. As fast as you can go, come on. You got this. You can do it. Out, out, in, in. Come on, push through. We're halfway there. Keep it up. 10 seconds left. Agility and coordination. A little bit of cardio, rest. We got one more set of those. Breathe through it. Nice tall posture. Arms up. Football. Out and in. You got this. Breathe through. How are we doing? Do you feel like you're working out? You should be at about a seven on a scale of one to 10. Maybe you're breathing a little bit heavier. You should be able to say short phrases as you breathe, but not full sentences. Five seconds left, finish strong. Nicely done. Way to go, way to go, way to go. All right, our next movement, we are going to use our weights. Setting yourself up, if you're using the chair, you're next to the chair here, or behind the chair is actually probably better. Stepping back into the lunge here, row, kick back, alternating legs. Step back, check your form, pull your Arms up like you're pulling up a grocery sack out of your grocery cart. Push back, tricep. 
switch, step back, pull, tricep kickback. That pull is really important. As we step back, pull that grocery out of your car or cart, push back, tricep. If you're not doing that pull back and you're right here, you're not gonna get the maximum benefit, rest. I feel amazing. I hope you do too. Get a sip of water as you need it. Check your heart rate. Here we go. Using the chair as you need for balance. Check your feet alignment again as we come back into that lunge. Pull, tricep, switch. Step back. You can come down a little bit further maybe this time. Pull, tricep, kick back. Step back, lunge. Exhale, keep breathing. We never want to hold our breath when we're doing exercise. We want to pull back here, exhale. Exhale on the exertion. You can go a little bit lower on your lunges, go for it. This is your exercise. Rest. We've got one more set of those. How are we doing on the weights? Keep in mind how you feel in this last set. If you feel like you could do a lot more after this of this movement, you probably need to increase your weights next time. Step back, check your alignment again. Is that knee still coming straight down? Are your feet still parallel? Drop it down, pull, kick back. Drop it down, pull, kick back. Drop it down, pull, kick back. You got this. One more. How are you doing? I feel good, I feel good. Here we go. Pull, kick back. This is our last set of these. Oh, we did all these already, didn't we? You're gonna get an extra set, a bonus. Down, pull, kick back. Pull, kick back. Pull, kick back. Don't forget if you still have some energy left in the tank, drop that knee back down a little further. Keeping your chest up. Five seconds left. Rest. Get a sip of water. We're gonna move into our next movement. Our next move, no weight, single leg lunge, single leg squat rather. Set yourself up if you're using the chair. Elevate that leg or kickstand it right here. Down into that squat. Three, two, and one, switch legs. Option, float the leg. Pushing back into the glute. If you don't need that chair for balance, let go of the chair, but you have it there in case you need it. Switching every three. Three, two, one, rest. That was set one. Again, we're alternating. You're doing three on one leg and then switching. We want to keep our chest up as much as possible, pushing back into the glute so our knee tracks behind our toe. Three, two, one, and switch. Again, you can use that chair for balance or let go of the chair. Again, a move like this is great for building muscular endurance because we're doing three sets and it's great for building strength because you're putting all of your body weight on that one leg. 
And it's great for balance because we're engaging our core. We're balancing on that one foot. One more, finish strong. Again, if you start to get wobbly, drop that toad back in balance. Rest. We've got one more set, stay with me. Set yourself up. Here we go. Three, two, one, switch. Balance, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. If you get wobbly, just tap down and reset. It's okay, you're gonna challenge your balance with this movement. Remember what I said, we're building up strength in your foot and your ankle to be able to hold you up. <sighs> Trying to track that knee, look in the mirror, Try to keep your knee in alignment the entire exercise. Rest. All right. Here we go. Last time. Set yourself up. Three, two, one. Switch. Switch. You got this. Use the chair, don't use the chair. It's your workout. Are you getting sweaty? You should feel like you're doing work. You got this. Just because it's low impact doesn't mean that you're not breaking a sweat. I know you're working just as hard as me, aren't you? Say yes, rest. New move, agility move, tie your run, forward and back. We're going forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Lifting our feet, make sure we're not gonna trip on anything. If you need the chair for balance, you got it right here. Wide feet, imagine you're stepping on four dots if you're on the a linoleum floor or tile and you have squares step in squares you got this forward forward back back if you can speed it up speed it up for me this is a little bit of cardio building agility and coordination if you feel like you're struggling with agility and coordination don't give up you're creating new neural synapses in your brain. Rest. And so the more you do these movements that require you to do things that your maybe your feet haven't done in a long time, it's gonna create that new connection in your brain and make it easier. Here we go. Set two. Forward, forward, back, back. Looking good. Feeling good. You're gonna have so much more energy after completing a workout today. This is also great for reducing things like anxiety and depression. Exercise is also known to help your body fight off Alzheimer's and dementia. Keep it up, keep it up. You got this, five seconds left. Five seconds, push through. I don't think you've drank water in a while. Get a sip of water, catch your breath. One more set. Here we go. Forward, forward, back, back. Remember your options. If you want, you can bring your legs up a little bit higher. Check your heart rate. If you're not pushing yourself enough, bring your knees up higher. Will help increase your heart rate without increasing your impact. So you can do this low impact movement and by making it bigger, 
your heart is gonna work a little harder. Your muscles are gonna work a little harder. 10 seconds left. You got this. Finish strong. Keep breathing and rest. Cardio movements like that are so great because we usually only use about 30% of our lung capacity just sitting around breathing. So when you do exercise like that, it really helps us use more of our lung capacity. Grab those weights, single leg deadlift. So we're tipping at the hip. If you're using the chair, extend. Balance is built in here. Upright row. So your arms are only going to T height. Alternating legs, tipping at the hip, keeping your hips square to the front, upright row. Tipping at the hip, upright row, you got this. Use your balance. When we start this, as we come back, our goal is to be like a seven, rest. Our body's parallel to the ground, perpendicular to our leg. If you're using no chair and you're working on building that balance, you can do just a little tap right here. Here we go. You can tap and pull. You don't have to go all the way down if you don't feel comfortable, but I want you to challenge yourself. Remember to switch, alternate your legs. That's giving your leg a little bit of a break, shifting your weight from one leg to the other. Exhale as you press up. As we tip forward, our vision goes from front down to the ground, keeping that spine nice and neutral, yeah? Looking down, looking at me, give me a big smile. Rest. One more set. Push through. I know you can do this. Here we go. Last time, pull it up, squeeze, extend, pull it up. We're halfway there, finish strong. Now if you feel like this was a little bit too easy, Next time, increase your weight or go a little bit deeper into your deadlift. Three seconds left, last one. Nicely done. Let's cool it down. Our first cool down move. Alternating arm and leg bird dog lift, standing option right here. Alternate, squeeze, opposite arm and leg. You have the option of doing this on the floor. In a tabletop position, reach forward, extend. Other side, extend. Your choice. You're here, on your knees. You're not using the chair. You're using the chair. Next movement, side plank. Crunch. Leaning on our chair again, we want to make sure it's sturdy. Side plank, crunch. Option two, we're on our mat, on our elbow, or on our hand, and knee, reach, crunch, reach, crunch. <sighs> Exhale as you crunch. We're targeting this oblique right here. Let's switch sides. You go to the other side of your chair, or you face the other direction. If you're feeling pressure in your wrist, go down to your forearm for me. Keeping this hip lifted, reach overhead, crunch. Again, we can be doing this on our chair. Nicely done. Sumo squat, feet are wide, inhale and exhale, 
Inhale and exhale. Again. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna finish with the sun salutation. If you're on the chair, you're gonna do your plank like so. Here we go. Big inhale. Exhale, reach down all the way down toward your toes. Allow your head to drop. Half lift, come to your kneecaps. Exhale, step it out to plank or do a plank on your chair. Down to your knees, chaturanga. Up dog, pushing your shoulders away from your ears. Down dog, step it in. If you're on the chair, your down dog is right here, stretching, stepping it in. Let's have a seat either in your chair or on the floor. If you're on the floor, your legs are cross-legged. Make sure your sits bones are both adjusted in the seat evenly. Imagine you have a string coming from your head. Nice, tall posture. Use your core, don't use the back of the chair. Nice and tall. Big inhale up. Exhale, hands behind the ears. Good stretch all through your chest. Twist and look behind you like you're pulling your car out of your driveway. No reverse cam in our car. Big inhale, exhale, squeeze, rotate and twist the other side. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel amazing. Keep up the good work. For good cardiovascular health, we recommend exercise five days a week for 30 minutes. And this is a great program to do for three of those five minute blocks or five day blocks. Make sure you drink some water, have a snack. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to stop your watch and see how you did on your exercise today. I'll see you next time.